Chinapa is, you know, the first game. He, really, if you're going to get any opportunity against him, you need to win the first game. She's such a good front runner. There she is. Yeah, you're right. We've got to really get stuck into her early on, and the head, you know, the head can go a little bit. That's a good lovely, shot. Lovely it's a lovely shot. shot. Acknowledged by Chinapa. Yeah, she used that. She moved in early nicely and then just guided the ball. Very, very nice movement there. Good, a bit of hold. There's that thinny one. That's really well played. Good speed there. Looking for the quick points all the time. Omar, much better. Like playing the, the simple threat. shots. Run. Aggressive is the right word. Amazing uh, stretch, Just holding that stretch. What a sh what a low kill though. And that's yes, quickly, please. trademark shot from Chinapa. Brutal rally. Oh. It's a brutal oh. rally. It's oh. a serious damage there. Thoroughly deserves it. Screech of uh, emotion from Cody Namar. One of the toughest rallies of the match, if not the toughest, to seal that fourth game. Flying onto the volley here. Look, she's in the air. Very powerful. Yeah, it's mental toughness here. It's required from Omar. We know what she's capable of physically. Oh, oh. look at that, the forehand, straight Wally. Three, one. Both feet off the ground nearly. Yeah, it's risky business. Oh. Dug it up. She's done it. Very, very good. 9 5. This is superb for my mark. <laughs> she was almost sat on the ground in that back right corner. Down. She's down. She's yeah. done it. She throws the racket. Very, very impressive performance there for Kaylee and Omar. Joshua Chinapa, number 10 in the world. Kaylee and Omar, she's crying. So, so emotional. I mean, she'll explain to probably Michael in the interview about her injury. She was out for such a long period of time after literally playing her best squash back in March 2020. And she's come back into the fray here. She's in England, which is an uh, adopted home. 58 minutes of some terrific squash. What an unbelievable performance there from Colleen Omar. 3-2 victory. Fantastic effort by the French player and actually closed it out quite comfortably in the end. Chinapa didn't fancy too much more of that. The rallies were so tough in that last phase. Brilliant well, stuff. You can see the passion, very evident and uh, we'll Really look forward to this interview here. She's uh, she's uh, very very uh, emotional and rightly so. Awesome stuff, and we're going to hear. From you. Serious work here, Omar. That's a great put away, great finish from Whitlock. Oh, she was in control, Omar, but well turned around Three by Whitlock. Interesting oh. pose. He 
you don't see many sort of floated in like that. Fell onto the right wall. It's like a lob post. Look how short it stays. Oh, that was so awkward. Got it. Big chance though for, for Whitlock. That's well played, well executed. The triple boast. Ten nine. Game given. ball. Emily Whitlock, game ball here. Take a two live lead. Yeah. That's a great shot. Slightly off, off balance there, Colleen Lamar, but she managed to maintain Hand just out. enough Three, control seven. to play that winner. Life very, very difficult for Omar. You can see herself just trying to G herself up. <laughs> so, six match balls now for Emily Whitlock. A consummate performance from her so far. Deserved for her fantastic Three performance. Couldn't let Colleen and Amar four, into the match. Looking a little bit close in the second game, perhaps, but Emily Whitlock uh, strolls through to the semi finals. Well, still a fantastic tournament for Colleen Amar. Great win yesterday against Chinapa, but was unable to make more of this encounter and a lot of that was down to the quality of Whitlock. Consistent attention to detail, very, very good target hitting and a bit of a shutout really. Also just looking at the run of, we saw the quarter final highlights there, took out the bullet through love. You were commentating on that with, with Simon Park and he also dispatched Kareem Abdul Gawad in quite efficient fashion. So he is getting into this. You know, it's not like John Makin's been banking on a few real to tough matches for Ibrahim in terms of the physicality. He's got into this semi final and given himself a really. Ball's softened off nicely now after it pinging around at that first game. And it's just going to make things more interesting. Ball's going to stay shorter and it's gonna increase the size of the court Pretty and it was tough. shown there. That was, that was hard. It's hard this for anyone. Is, this is tough. That was around about one minute, 22 seconds, Vanessa. Okay. He's gonna keep fighting though, as we know. No, he is still oh, fighting, which sure I let you know. I've got it. a lot of time for that. A lot of time, <laughs> young players that are watching this, they should really take a leaf out of the book. There's nothing better than that. It's one way to play, and that is to keep fighting. And he's Joel making, I mean, he's losing his movement, and he's thank you, still thank throwing him. massive error that is a massive massive oh, error that was, was huge a huge grimace from making there oh, that was huge oh my oh. word oh my goodness gracious me Seven that was a scandalous backhand volley drop. I mean, he's on the tee. He couldn't push up any further, Ibrahim. It's, he's, I don't know how many wins these guys have got, but uh, Ibrahim's must be on his fourth. Well, 
be the biggest yaller if he does take this. Really tried to over egg that one, Vanessa. And out, 9 10. Match ball. Somebody in the crowd uh, didn't realize that the ball was down. Still a match ball for Ibrahim. Down. I can't believe it. Two all, 10 all. Oh, 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 oh. The story continues. It's now match ball for the first time for the Golden Tiger. And he's wallet to in the tin. He's wallet to in the tin. John Makin has managed to escape. Unbelievable. 81 minutes. John Makin. Has got to play tomorrow. And he's got to come back in about three hours' time to play the final. What a performance there from John Makin. 81 minutes. You can start to smile now. He doesn't want to get too much because he'll get face cramp. That was so impressive, Vanessa. Unbelievable. 82 minute marathon of so much entertainment, and it was making that squeezed it out in the tie break. Three games to two. Well, he's still holding his racket making like he's going in for a sixth game. What a conversion. And that is a pure example of any of the youngsters watching of just grit and determination, hanging tough, not giving anything away, making your opponent play that last shot every time. And he got rewarded with the errors in the end. He did, yeah. There was quite a few winners to get to that stage, but three errors, I think, at the end. <laughs> Half volley, well controlled. Eight four. It's a bit loose from Perry so far. She's trying to find angles. She's trying to be creative, but it's not quite working. Six three. Yeah, this is uh, worrying for England's Sarah Jane Perry. Not hitting her targets at all, and if she's slightly inaccurate, she's going to get picked off with. And the switch there, Terry didn't read it. From the right. Been pretty outstanding from the middle of the oh, nice. I mean, it's quite funny the way she played that though, because it was quite nonchalant, wasn't it? She's very upright and just kind of hugely casual. <laughs> I would say that Hammy hasn't been playing the short ball Hammer, in the drop seven, quite as confidently. Four. And then she came up with this one. Off the back foot again. Just clipped side wall. Damn. There we have it. Hanuel Hamami seven. seals the deal. There's no best of five comeback this time for Sarah Jane Perry. You see how, uh, how important that was. Absolutely furious with uh, the victory <laughs> there. She was bumped up and she was on a mission here. Perfect preparation for the British Open coming up next week. Obviously, hurt her immensely losing in December with having 
championship balls in abundance. But she's uh, returned the favour here with three love. I mean, she's got to take great confidence from this. 40 minutes, three love victory over the number two seed from England. Hanya El Hamami winning her first Manchester Open. <laughs>
not giving it away, Parkey, and that was uh, superb. Three love victory, so certainly got plenty of action. And ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for your Manchester Open 2021 champions, Diego Elias and Hanier El Hamami.